I'm gonna do that instead because it is pretty decent room. There is plenty, there is a bit of headroom we can use. Hello, 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 and welcome to another video. This is just gonna be a quick house update. There's not much has changed as we've been quite busy here. We um, kind of like um, the shower room started and now apart from one little bit, which is the boxing in of the pipes, which is what I've been waiting for because tra getting trades at the minute is absolutely ridiculous trying to get them on. So here it is. We have now got heat for this, for the, um, for the, for the shower room. Obviously I need to box in these pipes, which is going to be fairly easy. The amount of times I've had to take this toilet out because it was leaking and I had to fix it with the leak and now the leak's fixed, fingers crossed. And we've also now finally got the shower door. I fitted that myself. Yes, I can fit shower doors, but these tiles are so annoying because the floor and um, wall ones that I went through about six tiles, not six tiles, six um, tile drill bits to get through it. So these are ridiculous. So I had to put all that in and the, the tiler didn't use the spirit level on the wall, which is really annoying. So it looks nice and level, but there it's out on the wall. So I had to put a, I had to put a chrome strip down the edge there. But our um, plumber, whilst he was putting that um, towel rail on, he put the nice, um, the nice shower. It's not very, it's not very um, uh, powerful the shower, but it's a shower. It works. Paint the this coving white because uh, needs a bit of a sanding down. But apart from that, it does need. It's, it's, I'm going to paint that white probably later on. Um, not much has happened in here. Still got the rabbits there. One rabbit there, one rabbit in there. I'm getting that rabbit out in a minute because why not? One rabbit there. I'm editing currently another video, um, so stay tuned for that. Editing a couple of videos to be honest, so stay tuned for that if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and comment below. And um, what else has happened? The back bedroom now uh, plastered and we've painted it. I painted it now. Um, so I've got to do another couple of coats on it because the paint that my wife chose because it was cheap was crap. So I did add you know, three coats of this so far. Uh, lots of different things. You got to hold out of that brush will still work. Got to paint around there, got to paint all this. Lights up again. This floor is getting replaced. Uh, as she's sanding it because she's a pain in the ass. Uh, I've got to paint a lot of this, so this room is painted. This is hopefully, eventually, maybe could become the nursery when we have kids. Dark and dingy before, now it's quite light and bright, as you can see. This room now in the master bedroom is ready to be plastered. I um, had to, I boarded that, boarded that. Um, just need to get this. Um, obviously, you know about that. I put a, a loft ladder in, and it's now uh, got it's boarded, as you've seen in my other video. Um, all these walls, this wall, that wall, that wall, that little bit there, and there need plastering. That's the next lot of plastering to be done. Um, we have tried to s save this uh, carpet with the vac, but it just hasn't worked. It's just the carpet's done. This this cupboard in here, it was a um, just a dingy, horrible little cupboard, just crap. And now I've made it into quite a nice storage area. Um, anyway, that's a nice little storage unit. It's, you can walk all the way through there. Um, plasterboarding it myself. Not the best job, but I'm not a plasterboarder. But I can now store my tools and possibly my sound gear that's actually water protected cases. I can go in here to get stuff out of the way. Did all this myself. Um, I'll turn this off now. And the main stuff, obviously I've got to paint all this again, but the main stuff is this room. Yes, it's a mess. Tools and everything like that. And two The thing is we've had a, um, an architect in and he said, because of the new regulations, you have to, we've just had, we had this door fitted. Apparently that would have to come out after a fire door. We have to have 
a carbon uh, not carbon we have to have all wired in smoke detectors if we had to if we had if we put a dharma on this roof here we're going to take all this roof out here make it bigger um so we've decided that effectively we're just going to not bother doing a dharma and what we're going to do is we're just going to put um a big v lux in the middle there somewhere big v lux this cupboard bit here we're going to make that into all that in there into a cupboard space drawers and whatnot i'm going to do that instead because it is pretty decent room there is plenty there is a bit of headroom we can use so we're probably just going to make this room once it's cleared into a double bedroom really with a, a v lux because what's the point in a in putting a dharma on it it would have been mint having a dharma but 22 25 grand for all the regular new regulations that we brought in with the with the wired smoke detectors and the fire doors and the cost of putting it in and all that stuff spend all that money when basically it just put a v-lux in in there and then uh um, the back bedroom as you saw is getting is getting there Probably put one of them, one of those, uh, up, one of those carpets up there in there because we've got carpets. Why not use them? Why, why, why pay for more? Some uh, coving up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I put some coving up here to make it look nicer? I've got to put these lights up again, but I lost the brackets. I need to find those. Um, this room will be the next one to be done, and then that room, and then all these little bits like this need sorting out. This is probably the best room in the house, that one. Without the fact that we knocked that, made that hole there ourselves. Because it, could they say that you should cut, uh, you should do gardening and cut trees and everything down in the winter because the trees are, are, are dormant so it doesn't hurt them as much. And then when they come back to life in the spring, summer, they flower and they thicken up more. So I've basically just, uh, I've cut a tree, I've cut a part of that tree down, there's a massive branch that came up there, so I've got, um, I got a harness so I could so I could climb up there and, and latch myself to the tree. I cut the branch down, then I cut it off. As you can see, there is a bit of a branch going across there. I might have to cut that off. Uh, I'll see. Um, I've d cut all these, uh, trimmed all these bushes up a bit. It's very hard to do, especially on the roadside, because the roadside is is obviously a lot lower. Up here, it's higher, so you can get them easier. Um, so I've been doing that this uh, this last few months. I've been sorting out that rather than spending a thousand pounds on someone else doing it. I've spent a couple of hundred quid, maybe two hundred quid or whatever, or less, on some tools so I could do it myself. Um, basically, so uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, click notification bell, thumbs up, comment what you think, and uh, see you all soon for hopefully another video. Bye bye.